Hello, right, you guys. Um, I'm on my way to the hill in uh, Uber with a nice gentleman. I'm going to meet Anna and several of the other guys up there. I just want to quickly do a short video on GTII, and I want to ask a couple of questions in case uh, someone on Congress watches this. One, I believe that GTII is, as I said on one of my calls, um, there's no better time to buy an Oriental rug. And I think, uh, yes, the price is down, and yes, it could still go down further. That None of this is financial advice. But I think the f three or four catalysts um, are, one, I think the uh, Toronto mine is alive and real. I think you have to bear in mind that the banking system was under stress. Just because the headlines went away doesn't mean that there wasn't behind the scenes actions that had to be taken to ensure the integrity of any deal that may have been um, organized. Secondly, this AI chat, I think it's called something else, but this news on the AI coming into uh, GTII, I think it's terrific news. Obviously, it's a process. Obviously, we've been through it before, but you think that it's better if we don't try anything. I don't know. Uh, thirdly, um, I think there's other transactions that are going to come in, and maybe soon, that could could really add net asset value to the, the per share price of the stock. Um, we'll see. Uh, all Okay, so I don't know where my count is. Third is Alpine. Alpine's going down. And yes, they're they're flaying out there with every trick they can find, but Alpine is going to go down. And I think those big orders have to come in to buy. Um, the question I want to, and then I, I guess you just remember, Wes Christian has been working hard going against market makers for spoofing and and Jane Doe's or John Doe's. The, the, these things are making progress, and we may or may not find out on those. The heat is on these guys. All the bad guys do is just sell, and they sell under the laziness, the stupidity, or the complicity of the SEC, FINRA, and the other uh, uh, so-called regulatory bodies. They do not locate shares, that's illegal. They do not deliver shares, that's illegal. They communicate amongst each other, that's illegal. They spoof, that's illegal. They cross, that's illegal. They manipulate stock prices downward, that's illegal. The question I have, if anyone at Congress or Senate is watching, or the SEC, how is this good for America? Are you telling me that every over-the-counter stock and others, it's the, it's throughout the markets. Every over-the-counter stock is under pressure day after day after day because these geniuses um, at Power Up Lending, Veland Partners, New York, Yorkshire Capital, these geniuses know that each of these CEOs are dishonest. They're manipulating their stock price, and the technologies that they have don't work. All at the same time. And that the uh, revenue business plans and profit uh, strategies that these com CEOs and companies have, all at the same time are bad. Hundreds at the same time. What benefit is it to allow this system to continue? You've got a guy at the SEC who wants to expand his remit to uh, cryptocurrencies. He can't even handle what he's got. And if you put one of these other uh, uh, faces for Goldman Sachs and Ken Griffin in place, you're not going to change anything. Is it to America's benefit for Ken Griffin to quote unquote provide liquidity so that every dream, every new company, every idea that is financed by friends and family and then seeks financing on the over-the-counter markets initially. Every single one is destroyed. Is that good for America? I don't, I don't see how. 
And then what these, these criminals do, they drive it down. They get the press on their side saying, oh, it's just the, it's just the uh, meme stocks. It, uh, it's as Jim, Jim, the arrogant uh, pontificator Kramer said, oh, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, uh, caveat emptor. Really, Jim? Really? You, you're asking people to invest in the United States markets. Gary Gensler says it's the deepest, most honest, secure market in the world. Not when these criminals are acting with the with the uh, uh, with quizlings like you, Jim Cramer. Quizling, quizlings like Gary Gensler, quizlings like Robert Cook, quizlings like the entire lot of them at the over-the-counter markets. So let me ask you if there's anyone in the Senate that is, or the Congress that's looking to pay our uh, uh, bills. What these guys do, they reverse, look at a company, um, I won't bring another company up, but they're companies with technology, they sign these toxic notes because they, they don't have any alternatives. The, the, the over-the-counter markets are completely orphaned and there's no enforcement. You know, yes, the SEC just made a big show of going after savvy, savvy and and uh, his team, but they dismissed 48 cases a week ago. What what the heck for inadvertent inadvertency? Come on. So let me ask you this: What they do is they'll get these. Uh, CEOs in trouble. They drive the stock price down and then they say, you know, you're going to default if you don't keep the stock on the NASDAQ or on the OTCQB. And so the, the CEOs do a reverse split. You know what happens? Whatever collateral the criminals need to keep in these shady prime brokers, if any, that collateral suddenly gets, re the need for that collateral gets re reduced to a tenth or a fiftieth. All that other money that was stolen from the retail investor and retirement plans and 401ks and policemen and nurses and Uber drivers, they can take out and they send it offshore and they don't get a 1099. They don't pay taxes. So if if you think that the SEC can actually handle the crypto exchanges, and by the way, they're just doing that because the one threat to the oligopoly, oligopoly of Goldman Sachs, Bank of America, JP Morgan, and, uh, and uh, Morgan Stanley, and Ken Griffin and, and BlackRock and all these big pools of money the geniuses manage is de decentralized finance. You, we don't need these big banks the way they've the way they're running things, and they want to they want to protect themselves from the alternative. But but you know that's a philosophical argument. The question I want to ask you is why is this current system that the SEC blesses? helping American workers, helping American companies, helping build American businesses, helping build technologies. Technologies in defense, in healthcare, in, in the internet, in artificial intelligence. But on top of that, for their ability to strip wealth out of the United States, they don't pay any taxes. And we're not, this is not a victimless crime. This is not something that kooks are, are, are making up. It's happening. And it's hundreds of billions, if not trillions of dollars. And the taxes that are being stolen for the United States Treasury by these criminals is massive. You want to help Ukraine? Get one of these guys. You want to get rid of student loans? Get one of these guys. You want to help San Francisco? Get one of these guys. You want to clean up the, the 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 train wreck that poisoned Ohio farms? Get one of these guys. 
You want to build the fastest and most stable train system in the world? Get these guys. And don't believe, and I'm talking to Congress and senators do, and judges, do not believe that Ken Griffin offers anything of value to retail or institutional investors. Do not believe that these big banks are doing anybody any favors. Anyway, all right, so I, I get, you can see I get a little worked up. I'm almost to the Rayburn building. I'm gonna sign off. I wish everyone a good day. But on GTII, this deal yesterday, great news. Alpine is going down. That's, that's possibly as much as 250, 300, 350 million shares that have to be bought back. 19 million shares that need to be bought, that, that the company has been, uh, got received a phone call. Hey, we'd like to buy, we'll give you tens of millions of dollars. The company said no. And you've got the Trento mining deal, I think is very much alive and there may be one or two other deals coming. Uh, just stay strong. These guys only know one thing. It's to sell stock that doesn't exist, breaking all the securities laws. And just because the SEC looks the other way doesn't mean it's not illegal. And just because they don't pay taxes doesn't mean they don't owe those taxes. And, and just because they make profits without a 1099 doesn't mean they're, they're not stealing from each and every one of you. So anyway, here's, uh, there's nothing really to show you, Capitol Hill. Capitol Hill. <laughs> it's not the prettiest part, but um, I'm coming up to Rayburn's, uh, Rayburn office building, so I'm going to sign off and uh, uh, cheers, everyone. <laughs>